Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a little money bill fold. Uh, it's a butterfly and it's quite easy to fold. Um, so here's how to fold it. Um, this is done from a 5 euro bill and for the video I will use a 10 euro bill. And the start is very easy. You just fold edge to edge like so. For money bill folds normally it's good to use sharp creases. Turn the paper around and again fold edge to edge like so and make a sharp crease. Now fold this edge to the middle crease on both sides. Um, be careful that, that the paper does not move here. So you should keep an eye on that. And if it's done correctly the edges should meet here in the middle. Also here make a sharp crease. Now I make an inside reverse fold here and the same thing on the other side. An alternate way is just to make mountain folds here along the existing creases and then collapse it like that. Now fold one layer to the right, turn around and again one layer to the right. Okay. Now fold over um, two th about two thirds. Like so. You see the distance to that edge on um, this edge cuts this edge in the middle about. With this fold you determine the the length of the body here. Now put your finger inside and on both on both sides and flatten the model. You can see that don't crease sharply now. See? Um, first you determine the width of the wing at the bottom, maybe like that, and make a crease from there to the middle point. And do the same thing 
on the other side. I guess that's a symmetric way. And now use this middle crease to make a pleat. You just add a valley fold in a very small angle to the existing mountain fold here. Like so. And be careful not to to use too much paper here. And now you can flatten the model and this determines the width of the wing in this this part. Try to be asymmetrical as you can be on the other side. Just watch that you have the same width on both sides. Okay, now well, you can see the butterfly already. For the head, I I make a a, cre um, a valley fold here. I just fold this edge to this edge, like so, and. Um, maybe go to the middle line here. And then make an inside reverse fold. And just leave a little gap here to the middle line, something like that. i show it again. Make a fold here and follow this line for the inside reverse fold. Now, the same thing on the other side. First, fold this edge to this edge, and from the same point as from the other side, make a crease like so. Again, it should look like the crease on the other side. And now, exact. now make a valley fold on both sides. Like that, you should look how how the angle of for the wings should be, 
and then um, between this uh, valley fold and the middle line make a mountain fold which is a curved line. It starts here, makes a little curve around the whole body. You see? And do the same the same thing on the other side. So, and the head goes up and the tail also goes up. You can see that. And now the butterfly is almost done. Just crease sharply for these for these valley folds. And then round around the body. It's a little shaping process. Maybe just curve curve the wings a little bit. Okay, almost done. Now um, just make a fold from maybe here like that and oops. let the the other fold fold follow this they the two folds meet in one point here. Do the same same thing here. Try to be symmetrical again. Butterfly does not look very nice from the back, so it doesn't matter exactly how this corner looks like. It should look the same from the front, that's more important. So now just curve it a little bit, bring the the wings up and that's it. Ready is the butterfly and you can fold it from various money bills I think because the the, the shape of the wings can be um, adjusted as you like it. You can you can add folds or you can uh, use different angles here, so each butterfly should should look a little different. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this uh, this little model and enjoyed watching this video. 
and enjoy folding the butterfly. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.